Hey, welcome to a short story about nitroglycerin dynamite and how they led to the Nobel Prize. I'm going to talk about two influential chemists that were working in the 1800s, uh, one of whom devised a process to make nitroglycerin and another one of whom found a way to turn it into something that was marketable that made him a lot of money. So let's begin with the first of our two famous chemists from this story, Ascanio Sobrero. Now, Sobrero was an Italian chemist working in the 1800s, and he discovered that by mixing glycerin, the byproduct of soap making, with nitric acid, that he could create a new compound which was extremely unstable and explosive. This compound is known as nitroglycerin, and it was made by using nitric acid in a condensation reaction with glycerin. This reaction creates three molecules of water and one molecule of the trinitrate ester nitroglycerin. This is the explosive substance that Sobrero created. Now Sobrero himself was famously opposed to its commercialization, having been quoted as saying, when I think of all the victims killed during nitroglycerin explosions and the terrible havoc that's been wreaked which in all probability will continue to occur in the future, I'm almost ashamed to admit to be its discoverer." So Sobrero was adamantly against commercialization of this product. But there was another famous chemist, a contemporary of Sobrero's, who wasn't. His name was Alfred Nobel. Nobel took nitroglycerin and took some business savvy and mixed the two together and found a way to stabilize nitroglycerin packaging it into sticks, which are commonly known as dynamite. He then invented methods for detonating this dynamite and for packaging and transporting it, patenting them all, which led to a tremendous amount of money. So Nobel finished his career an extraordinarily wealthy man. But there are indications that he did suffer from some moral conflicts regarding all the damage that had been caused by nitroglycerin over the years. In fact, many believe that it's, at least in part, his guilt over this that led him to leave a massive amount of his fortune to endow the Nobel Prize. A prize which is supposed to be given to the person who, during the preceding year, had conferred the greatest benefit to all mankind. A clear attempt to rectify his legacy by leaving behind something positive for humanity as opposed to something which caused so many deaths. So this is the story of nitroglycerin and dynamite and how they ultimately led to the establishment of the most famous scientific prize of all time.